All right, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at great, at great Millstone, our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and honors to all you fellow laborers that are enduring afflictions, bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Barakadam. Okay, so the name of the lesson is California's uh, exit. Or division, division, because it's California. The proposal is for America. I mean, for California to be divided into three states. That's a sign of Esau's end. Okay, of his impending destruction. We okay, because we're gonna go into Lord's will when the uh, the other head bros from the camp when they get in. We're gonna go into what's happening in Syria right now because uh, we got the Syrians that are over there uh, clapping it up and laughing because you, you so-called white people over here you sent. Few missiles over there and they got knocked down and didn't do anything you know because you you edomites are pretty much done man. There, there's no there's nothing left for uh you edomites but to go into captivity and then after a thousand years be exterminated okay your woman wants to breathe black and that's a emerging emerging uh movement right now man okay all your kids because I, I i i i trained some uh, i've trained some little edomite kids they're all about jake oh man you're so cool hey how can i get my hair like that okay you do, man. Nobody wants to be an Edomite, man. Everybody wants to be uh, us, man, Israelites, in particular the men of the Lord, man. Okay? So you got a precept? Yeah, I had a precept on, real quick. This is Mark uh, 3 and 20, 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. That's right. So America is divided against itself. And California is a main uh, testimony of that. Because you see millions of people are trying to exit here. Why? Because the, the revenue, the revenue, the tax revenue isn't um, isn't uh, equal in, in the minds of these people. Because you have really three main population centers: you have the Bay Area, you have San Diego, and you have L.A. And so, what this proposal is going to do, which the brothers going to go into it, is they, they seek to divide the population, which they, they count on the census about forty million people, which we know is closer to fifty. You got you got a lot of so-called undocumented Ishikarites. There's a gang of them. All right, they're all in Salinas. Okay, they're all in the orchard field. They, the, the almonds that you get, you know, the, the, the avocados, the grapes, that, that comes from Ishikar, and they're not they're not on the uh, on the um, on the roll, so to speak. Okay, they're not on the census. Hey, and and they want to do is they want to divide it between like 13 million, 13 million, 13 million, because America, because uh, California, if it was a uh, if it was a country by itself, it would be a top five economy, man. Because yeah. you got all the tech the tech stuff here. And all industries here in agriculture agri in the agriculture well i'm talking about in the bay area okay. you have a lot of you have a lot of technology technology services okay all the different apps that brothers use that comes out of here and then when you go to the central valley that's where all the agriculture is and because you you go over to china you go over to which that's why the tariffs are so important all right because you go over to china they're eating almonds from california it was it was picked in modesto you know and then you have the entertainment industry, all the Esau's wine. That comes out of L.A., man. And those, those are big money makers, man. So you, you, uh, you got another precinct. Yeah, and also, if I say real quick, uh, come drugs come out from uh, from San Diego and the, from Mexico. Sure do. So a lot of those drugs come up and it funnels into the whole world. Oh, the whole yeah. The United States. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, from Mexico and then also from Humboldt County. The, the weed, because yeah. that's what I guess that California is known for. Oh, yeah. and you, you niggas from other other regions, you talk about the weed. Oh, I had some fire, some perps, some Kush, some grapes. Uh, some, I had to go back to California for that. Okay. Yep. It so, says, if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. Yeah, that's right. The house of Esau is divided against itself. That's why you got these uh, anti club people, and they going against them so called white supremacists. Because the Antifa people are like, look, you're making it hard for us, man. Because everybody woke up. Because Esau sees that he'll get he'll get decimated in an actual race war. That's why you got Antifa people. Because those people, they're trying to separate themselves from true blue Edomites. Okay? The, that that the torch torch carriers like that, that, that was present in uh, Charlottesville. Okay? When they had that uh, march about, I believe it was about taking down a Confederate statue. See, and then, that, that, then they had that one white bitch she got ran over. By a so-called white man, a terrorist, being a terrorist. Why don't white crime? Why don't I? We say that's a, that's pervasive in the world, man. They have to talk about Tito, all right, killing Jerome. Nah, man. Chad is killing Billy all the goddamn time, man. Shooting up, and then he does it on a world scale. And they'll call it World War One and World War Two, and try to justify it as geopolitical moves, man. That's yeah. what you so-called white people do. Go ahead. It says, and if Satan rises up against himself 
and be divided, he cannot stand but has an end. Yeah, and, and we're at the end of America. So can you get that article? Yeah. yeah. So this is an article on usnews.com. It says proposal to divide California into three states advances. Yeah. Good. April 13, 2018. It says a proposal to split California into three separate states will move to legislature. Uh, and uh, and the Secretary of State next week after amassing enough signatures to be considered for the no November ballot. See, so this is big. So people are going to vote on this. And a lot of people here, they're going to vote for that. Because all of those movements, they really come out of Silicon Valley because what happens is all the tax money that you pay into is going to, to all of these counties in California. It'll take you 18 hours to get from the top to the bottom of California. Yet there's one base in uh, Sacramento, okay, and all that money gets gets funneled to these damn rednecks up in Humboldt, all right, in Eureka and Weed, okay, and bug outs in uh, the bug outs in the Central Valley, okay, the damn meth heads, and they ain't really putting in nothing like that, okay. Go ahead. The idea dubbed Cal Three was stated was started by Bay Area venture capitalist Ten Drapper. See, there you go, a Bay, a Bay Area guy. Who believes California political system is broken? Yeah, and everybody and everybody around the world, that's what they they the, the poster child for the fall of America is California. Oh, look, it's a welfare state. Oh, it's super liberal. Okay, there's so-called illegal Im immigrants, there's drugs, the cost of living is high. People are, you know, people see that. And then even even um uh, amongst uh business professionals, they rate they rate California as the worst place to open a business, man. It says the worst, worst education, one of the worst education systems. Go ahead. <laughs> Activists said in a press release they had collected some 600,000 signatures from all the states, 58 countries in support of the effort. Mm -hmm. Far more than 366,000 signatures that were needed to advance the measure. Go ahead. This is unprecedented show of support on behalf of every corner of California to create three state governments that emphasize representation, responsiveness, reliability, and regional identi identity. Mm -hmm. Draper said, "Yeah, regional identity because you go you go from from LA to up here is totally different. It's like a different state, okay? And so it would make it would make sense that okay, it'd be a different it'd be a different state, you know." Yep. If approved, the state will be divided into northern and southern regions. Right, which really, that's why I say NorCal, SoCal, you know, people already function like that. Those are like the biggest rivals in, in sports and in, in games and everything, you know. It's usually divided between northern and southern California, any damn way. As well as the Central Coast and Los Angeles Basin. Mm -hmm. Each region would focus on its leading industries. And right. In Northern California, that includes agriculture, manufacturing, and forestry. Uh, Southern California includes financial services and trade. And Central uh, area includes tourism and motion pictures. Mm -hmm. Motivating the Cal 3 movement are the state's failing school systems that impact more than 6 million kids. There you go, man. There you go. Failing school system. He says nothing but bug outs, man. They come out here. People don't get their diploma. A lot of people don't get they even get their GED, man. Because it's so messed up. I remember I was going to school. The windows was busted out. Books was falling apart. And this was back in the late 90s, early 2000s, man. So how much more now? Okay, because you got you got it out. Since then, it's been a whole influx, just a, a damn invasion of Ishikarites, man. You know, they be all up in the school system, too, man. If there's some Jake, some Jake who got money, they'll take their kid to a private school. Okay, some Edomites, they'll take their kid to private schools. But but for the most part, man, it'd be Ishikar there. They don't even know how to speak speak English, you know? They really don't want to be there. They want to be in the field making money, okay? And then you got some old 21-year-old slut for a teacher. All right, niggas is banging her out. This is, what, this is what happens, man. This is exactly how it goes then. Okay, so, yeah, there ain't nobody learning nothing. Then you got that... Uh, no child left behind shit that Bush implemented. That really, that really messed up a lot of these kids. So then you gotta take these essay exams, but then you haven't been prepared the whole time. So then what you just fell out. Then what? Then you then you just on the streets. And now it's a pipeline for you going into prison. It's as high as in the nation's taxes, deteriorating infrastructure. Oh man, deteriorating infrastructure, because that's 
in an ideal world, that's where your taxes go. And all this money that California is making, why is the infrastructure so messed up? Because it because it's getting sucked by the elites, man. Go ahead. And strain government. Go ahead. Partitioning California into three states will empower regional communities to make better, fair, and more sensible decisions for their citizens, the press release uh, said. It says Cal 3 movement believes three separate states would improve education and the economy and pro promote a sense of community and identity, solve areas of Pacific issues and appropriate uh, uh, allocate resources. Right. Yeah, that's what it's really about. It's about allocating the resources. Okay, well, look, we're making this much money. We're making money from this region. Let me let me take this money and invest it into my region, my region, my, exactly. my, my particular region, because now there's so much money that's being made and there's a lot of areas that aren't really making money, but they're still getting the benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which is what it sounds like. Yeah. Which that which that make, that makes sense. Yeah, because you have a lot of because again, it'll take you 18 hours to get from the top of California down to the bottom. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh uninhabited places. And there's a lot of people who are just just bug outs, man. You know, they ain't making money, they're just they're in the woods smoking meth. But then they can get these different benefit uh, entitlement programs or their from their county, from them being a part of California, and yet they're not actually putting in no work for California. That's, sorry to sound like a they on some gang shit, but that's that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't putting in no work. So yeah. they, ain't, they ain't really eating. They ain't, they, they, what he's saying is they shouldn't be eating like yeah, that. Exactly. We yeah. should be eating in our own region. You know, we making all this. We want to reap the benefits of it. It says, as well as promote more city government oversight. Yeah, more more local. More local. Because California is really all about, pretty much California is like its own country when you, when you go into it, man. You go to like the south, you go to the midwest or east, yeah. California is totally different because the, the history and the spirit of California is all about being separate from the federal government. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that 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 spreads federally. It really starts like regionally in California. It'll start in the Bay, or it'll start in LA, and then it'll go either from the Bay to LA, then the rest of California, and then it'll and then it'll go to uh, the rest of the rest of the country. And like you got that uh, that saying, Californication, like Red Hot Chili Peppers, they made a song Californication. And there's a term Californication. I think it might be a show too, but it's pretty much the whole point of that is the, the influence that California has on on America, the rest of America, and the rest of the world. You know, so so traditionally, you know, California. That's why you had like uh, the Brown Berets, Black Panthers started out here. All these really feminist movements started out here. All these all these movements that are that are that are in the world, they really they really started in the Bay Area to be, to, to 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 be. Uh, uh, more exact, and it's all about what being regional, being communal. Okay, more, more, more communication, more communication with the community, so on and so forth. That's why you you associate these these areas like with hippies and, yeah. and liberals and radicals and so on and so forth. Well, the is uh, we're, we're California is the uttermost part of the earth. Mm. We're at the we're at the last part of we're at the end of the earth basically. Mm. Mm. From, so the earth, so the civilization started in the east, east. and then everything moved west. Right. You know, so now we're at the we're at the end. We're all far west. Yeah, the far we're at the far west. Mm. So it's wild, you know. It's yeah. wild, you know. It's well, let's say got that. Yeah, you got that saying: the wild, the wild, wild west. You know? Okay, which is true. Yeah. So traditionally, that's how it's been. All right, because Esau hasn't hasn't had the resources or the manpower to really like keep an eye out out here. You know, so that's why you had a lot of Jake pioneers when you go down to Southern California. You had a lot of, a lot of Judites that were uh, pioneers that like created uh, L.A. They created these different, uh, these different um, cities, man. You know, states. I mean, in um, in cities and um, cities and uh, counties. Go ahead. It's the last. It's the last uh, paragraph. It yeah. says, if, excuse me. It says, if the six hundred thousand signatures are deemed valid, which is rare, and legislature allows the proposal to be on the ballot, and Californians vote for it. Congress would still have to ratify it. Yeah, yeah, and and what that would what that would do was is that would create conflict between the federal government and California, the state, which there already is because Trump saying he's not going to give no Trump been, been saying he's not going to give you no know, uh, allocate no resources from the federal government to California. Why? Because you got a lot of sanctuary cities out here. Yeah, right. and you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of um, you you got a lot of things that California does that that. 
Esau isn't pleased with. And it started with the uh, we had medical marijuana because you know, federal law supersedes state law, right? So for a while, in certain parts of, of California, it was legal. You could just go get a cannabis club card. It's going back 15 years ago. But then if, if the feds came in, they could rate it. They yeah. could rate it. Mm-hmm. But you was cool in your region, you know? So and then there's other issues in which which have brought a lot of tension between California and the rest of the federal government, man. So that could lead to a damn a, a war. But you know what, Esau and you know Moabites, because really a lot of people that got the money to fund it, they ain't really just Esau and got Moabites, Elamites. They ain't about to get no militia. They gonna try to go to Jake. They have to go to Jake for the militia. They have to go to these different gangs. They, they ain't about to rock with your ass, man. Yeah. Because pretty much you're done, man. Pretty much you're done. Uh, this, this is, and if this actually gets on about, this actually happens. This actually come to fruition. And he's actually um, that guy. He's consulting uh, the guy Nigel Farage. Because he was one of the main consultants on Brexit, you know. Because mm. a lot of people didn't think that that would happen either. They scoffed yeah, at it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. It just happened, and it, and it actually happened, man. So if this place does tick on till November, I wouldn't be surprised if people voted for that, man. You know, because you'll have uh, propaganda. You know, people people will be like, yeah, yeah, that is a good idea. It could easily pass, man. You know, they'll just put up some uh, uh, anti-legal immigrant shit, you know, about uh, Ishikar. But yeah, you know. Will limit the amount of niggas that are in this region, you know. And I'll pass, man. Oh, you got something? Yeah. Um, Let's yeah, get a yeah, couple I'm more gonna, precepts. Yeah, because we are we gonna go live again, Lord's will. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, second Ezra fifteen and fourteen. And woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Yeah, the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Talking about all you people who are who are uh, in this world. Many great miseries are coming upon you, like it says in second Ezra the eighth chapter. Go ahead, bro. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. That's, that's another. race wars. Yeah, one people to stand up to fight against another. And then even within those 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 ethnic groups, so-called ethnic group, those nations, those people, they're gonna be fighting amongst each other. Go ahead. And swords in their hands. Yeah, and a modern sword is a gun. Go ahead. And there shall be sedition among men. Right. And then something you look up, uh sedition means an uprising against the government. And that's what this is. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. This is exactly what it is. This is that sedition among men. He's trying to break, try to break away from the established uh, rule of law. Okay, and 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 it really, you have one thing last year where they wanted uh, California wanted to become a separate country, separate country. Yeah. So this is so this is just, uh, and then they also wanted to include uh, Portland and Vancouver. Mm. It was these different big cities and the cities in between. Yeah, because if you. You know, there's a lot of, they call it like the, the five corridor, all right? So you got like uh, San Diego up the five, then you hit you hit the Bay, then you hit Sac, then you hit uh, Portland, then you hit Seattle. It's all like, it's all on like one 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 freeway. Right, you know, right. you can take that up and you, and that's a lot of big metro centers. So you want to do that, but you know, that didn't work. So, hey, we'll, we'll try the three state thing. But eventually it's to what is to get to that point. Come in, brothers. I mean, we like. Yeah, we just finish it up and we'll go again. Yeah, it says, For well, there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings or their princes, and the prince of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, that's right. So they're going to be able to do their heart's desire, man. You know, and coming against and coming against the government. I mean, because a, a lot of these police officers, they're going to throw in the towel, they're going to quit. Just like they did during the time of Katrina, because they're not getting a lot of pay. And then, oh, it's spirit. I was in a, I was in a city I used to stay in, and I, I saw it was a whole nother crop of police officers, man. And it was all young. They look, they all look 20, 21, 22. Why? Why? Because the the, the other ones, man, they, they they got exposed to being dirt bags, low lifes. Okay, the, the scrutiny came upon them, or they they got they got the pay cut. So what does Esau do? All right, because over time, when you had a job, they got to give you a raise. Okay, they got to give you a cost of living, cost of living increase. They got to, you got to give you different increases just from you being there, having experience. So what Esau does is he'll fire you, he'll just fire your ass, he'll fire your ass or some Donald Trump shit, and then he'll bring in somebody fresh out the economy, uh, academy. You know, and that person's bugged out because they don't know what they're in store for. You. Oh no, <laughs> well, especially now in 2018. These people are crazy, man. Some homeless people everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pure hell, man. Oh, we was just watching this, bro. 
The whole fucking country is screwed, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's homeless people everywhere, bro. <laughs> bro, fucking shanty towns. Shanty, yeah. Bro, shanty towns. It's, not, it's like some you know, movie District 9, bro. Oh, yeah. It's like fucking shanty town. The place that people are in the, uh, You go to SAC, the, the rivers, people, homeless people are living on the river. Living on the uh, river. Living, uh, abandoning the boats. Mm-hmm. Destroying the ecosystem. Man. Well, one of the niggas, somebody <laughs> used the river as they opened their bathroom. Man, <laughs> nigga admitted it. That's the drinking water for the city. Oh man, that's <laughs> yeah. the reason why they want to divide the state, divide California, yeah. divide California to, re- to allocate those resources to cleaning up California, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Getting but, the homeless off the, off the streets. But that's not gonna. But ultimately, work. yeah. But ultimately, America's gonna be destroyed. But we are gonna finish this in the world. Yeah. It says, yeah. "And man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able." For because of the pride of the cities shall uh, shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, because there's gonna be even more division. Mm-hmm. This is just an example, bro. Because it, it, even within even within this even within that state, it say this did come to pass. That 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 that's that's being that's being proposed because this is gonna happen. You're not gonna be able to, to go as freely because it's gonna be division. You're gonna have this click over here, this 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 race, this nation over here, this nation over there. All right. You got something, Carla? Uh, I'm looking for it. Okay. And man will pity on his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Woo! It's happening, man. Because you see how, like, the brothers, the elder brothers are talking about all the homeless encampments. And, and like, the, the elder brothers are saying, you see it, you, you, see, you, you see it increasing exponentially, man. The demons on these people, the hell that they're, the hell that they're, uh, they're catching, okay. The the demons and the, the hell is growing exponentially, and America is falling precipitously. That's right. Okay. Well, the Edomite, right? Look that word up, man. Yeah. <laughs> that word one, of the, one of the programs I was watching, the Edomite was the homeless guy, and he oh, come on, come on. And he was saying, uh, he, he was he's saying, hey man, as homeless people, we're regular people, right? Yeah. He's all he's all. Well, I was a regular person halfway before before uh, uh, I was living in this condition. So he's saying that condition he's living is making him become a bug out. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a hard, that's, that's a hard life, man. You live on the street. And that's in the streets. They're so on you. Yeah. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. But you have that term, a madman. The mad means crazy. You're not supposed to live like that. All right, begging bread, living in the streets. You got to, you scared of your own shadow. <laughs> you don't know who's going to pop up. You got to sleep with one eye open, basically. Yeah, yeah. Get, uh, Robbed or anything can happen, man. It's regular citizen can get mad at you, like over there in Frisco, man. Oh man, and even my this nigga's going around putting uh like uh notes on these homeless people's uh tents, saying like, look, man, you got twenty four hours to get up out of here. I'm gonna put you to death, man. I'm gonna burn your fucking tents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got guys making manifestos. They want to go up and kill kill San Francisco police officers and just people in San Francisco generally. Hey, this is a sign, man. You know, California is just a uh, the epitome of America. It's a microcosm of the, the downfall of America. You got something? Just get one. You know, we'll, we'll restart a little bit. You know, can we, we uh, title it? You know, going in on, on this particular topic. Go ahead, this is, uh, Matthew twenty four and twelve. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Oh, and you see that, man. The love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, and this this division of California. That's a that's a testimony. Because you go into an article. It's all about him not not wanting the resources to be allocated to those when getting putting in. You know, we'll care about them. We'll care if these people they fall on hard times or the economy ain't good in this particular region. Hey, they love waxing coat. You trying to watch out for his interest, man. Every man for himself. And then resources they're not even given to the to poor people, man. They're given uh, uh right it goes it goes right to the elites, man. It gets funneled to these low level wannabe elites. These guys are on the school board, these dudes that are in, in city hall. All right, the city manager. Those dudes are the most corrupt people, man. They take all that money, and look, look how these how these people are living out here. They're they're destitute, man. Sure hell. Pure hell. <laughs> in California, right? You got all this money coming in. Yeah. All this money's pouring in, man. You got all these people just doing what, man? Living, living like they're living in South Africa. Yeah, where is it going? Yeah, where is it going? That's the that's the thing, and that's what this guy is. That's what this. That's why the guy wants that division because he's like, where is the money going? Because he wants more regional. City oversight. Like, mm-hmm. California got like 54, 55 representatives, and they're just robbing everybody blind, man. Where is the money going? Yeah, you have LA stealing everybody's water. Mm. You know, LA steals water from all throughout California, man. Yeah. 
Okay, and then you and then you even have uh, San Francisco stealing water from Hetch Hetchy. Okay, so people, you know, the the way the so-called white man set up this place isn't meant to last long. It's not right? sustainable. Yep. It's not a sustainable system, right? It's a flawed so-called white man made it, right? It, it's it's uh, temporary. Okay. It's the white man's technology. If you look up uh, technology, it means uh, uh, study and building. So the so-called white man's building isn't sustainable, man. Yep. He only builds up things. To the to, so it can be destroyed, right. so we can destroy other things. Yeah, hey, but we'll come back, you know, in, in a little bit. Lord's will edifying all praise, honor, and glory again goes to Yahweh, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakhakodash. And California's done, and uh, America's done, and you so-called white people, you're done too. That's right. That's right. That's right. Shalom to the elect. We'll be back, Lord's will. <laughs>